So I'm here today with another bright tutorial using all Glimmer Doll Eyes and all of the shadows I'm using are matte. Feel free to swap them out for shimmer if you wish, shimmer or frost, any texture that you wish. Uh, this is a look, basically extremely bold eyes, bold lips, even bold cheeks. And you can swap any of these colors out with anything neutral if you want. This is simply what I decided to do. So you don't have to do everything I do. This is just my little technique in doing this look. So, yeah. So as I stated in the beginning of the video, I'm going to be using all Glimmer Doll Eyes loose eyeshadows. And in the middle of me recording, you're going to notice that my right eye is going to all of a sudden have a false lash applied to it. I have it sitting on the surface waiting for the glue to dry. Really don't have time to wait and to physically hold it, so I have it sitting on the surface. But I'm just gonna start with this eye. Of course, I used my groundwork paint pot from MAC for my lid base or my primary base, and then on my lid, and it should have also went down here. I'm using the next jumbo pencil and milk. I'm about to apply this really swiftly. And I know it's a lot of white, but I really want those pigments to pop a lot, so I applied a heavy layer of the milk. Make sure all the skin is covered or you're going to have little holes in the pigment and that's not pretty. So first I'm going to start off with stiletto. I'm going to pop some pictures of these in so I don't have to hold them up because it's very risky. I'm very bad at spilling things so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put a little pictures in. And this is just the purpley pink matte. All of the colors I'm using from Glamour Doll Eyes today are matte by the way. I'm going to use an eyeshadow C brush from e.l.f. Oh, wrong way, sorry. And this is what I'm going to use to pack this on my lid. You can apply as much color as you want. I want it dramatic, so I'm going to pack it. Pack it, pack it, pack it. Right next to that, I'm going to take another matte color called Radioactive. I'm going to use an e.l.f. concealer brush to apply this and it just looks like this so any flat shader brush that you have will work and again I'm going to pack this on really heavily right next to that I'm going to take Mingles which is the most ridiculous bright royal blue I've ever seen. I'm going to use a Sigma flat shader brush. I don't have the new number and this just says 239 but it's just another flat shader brush. really don't want my colors to mix too much so that's why I'm using different brushes. This is going to go in my outer V and crease area. Here comes the tough part. Now you need to go in and blend all the colors together. 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 Wow. Okay. Um, since these are all matte pigments, you really have to take your time. You really have to keep packing on color, blending. Packing on color, blending. Not too heavy layers. Or not too heavy of a layer. Don't make your layers too heavy or it'll look really cakey. So start with thin layers. Pack, blend, pack, blend. Don't swipe your color. It's going to make it a lot more difficult. So I'm just going to go back and forth until I get this side looking like that side. My lighting keeps changing, I apologize. And with mattes, you're not going to get a perfect blend as you do with other textures, especially if you're using all mattes. So, as long as it's sort of blended perfect, then you're good. Okay, now I'm going to blend out my outer edge with a big old stiff brush. This is the 227 from MAC. And for my highlight, I'm using Medium Plus. First, I'm going to start by applying some of this to this brush. And this is going to help me blend out that outer, that outer edge.
And I brought the blue up kind of high since I have on huge lashes. So I'm going to move on to my lower lash line. I'm using the same colors, same order. I know that gets boring, I'm sorry. But I'm altering one thing on my waterline. I'm going to be using that color called Radioactive, which is that bright teal, matte teal. And I'm going to apply all of those with a matte 214 brush. And that just looks like this, just a skinny brush. For my upper lash line eyeliner, I'm going to use Black Track. And I finally got a new one. The other one was just getting way too gross. I think I had it for like two years. Uh, but it was gross, nonetheless. For my mascara, I'm going to use False Lashes from MAC. And for my huge, ridiculous lashes, I'm using the Red Cherry 112s, which look like that. And I will return and show you the rest. I've completed my eyes, and for my cheeks, sorry to the color, or blush color, or whatnot. For my blush color, I use Raspberry by Ben Nye, which is just like a bright, hot, well, not like a hot pink, it's more like a... Watermelon, like a watermelon pink. That's a good description. And then for my cheek highlight, I use a mixture of two colors. I use Max Mineral Last Skin Finish and Petticoat. It looks like that. It's a ton of bronze and gold veining in it. And then I mix that with Medium Plus by Mac, which is a Mineral Last Skin Finish as well. And uh, as usual, I have no idea what I want to wear on my lips, so I'm just gonna kind of do a little trial and error here. Okay, for my lip color, I'm going to use 907C from Wet n Wild. I'm not really sure what the exact name of this is, because once you try to label off, you don't know, unless you label them. Um, but it's 907C, and it's like a... I don't know. It just looks like that. And it really matches well with that color I have in my inner corner. Um, I don't know if I'm using a lip pencil or not. Okay, for my lip pencil, underneath that, I'm going to use Dolly Pink by NYX. Which is around the same color as that lipstick. And because I have like everything matte on my eyes, most of the stuff matte on my face, I'm going to use a gloss on top of this because this is kind of a matte texture as well. I'm going to use Smashbox Pout Lip Gloss. And you can find Smashbox at Sephora or, so, or Smashbox.com, I think. But this came in a little gift set, sample gift set from Sephora when I cashed in my points, beauty insider points, but anyway I'm just going to pop this in the middle of my lips. My eyes. Very very bold lashes. My cheeks. And my lips, which match with the inner corner of my eyes. Really hope you guys found this tutorial enjoyable. I really like creating it. I'm always crazy over bright eye looks and I love bright neon looks for some reason or another. I don't know. Check out my blog for pictures and information. I'll have a list of all the Glimmer Doll shadows I used in the information box. So feel free to check those out at your discretion and I will talk to all of you soon.